let's go to this site called mrcutout.com now this site offers a cutout library for architects and graphic designers you can sign in with your uh, facebook account and once signed in we can now start downloading this photorealistic cutouts for free and these cutouts are in pink file let's go for vegetation and try and try this one open adobe illustrator start a new file go to the file menu and click place and select the cutout that we have just downloaded in the properties tab click image trace and select silhouettes again go to the file menu export export as and we're going to export this as an AutoCAD drawing. I'm just gonna rename it. We're done with Adobe. Let's exit. We can also create silhouettes in Photoshop, but I think we cannot save or export it as, a, as an AutoCAD file or drawing. But if it's possible, please let me know in the comments section. We are now in SketchUp. Let's import that silhouette that was saved in AutoCAD. This is now a component and it, it needs to be scaled down to human proportion. Using the scale tool, let's drag this down and We'll use Chris as our reference. Let's reposition this component together with Chris at the center of this axis. And we'll hide Chris for a moment. We need to explode this component and the usual way to do it is to select an edge, right click, and click on explode but this time i'm going to the window menu and click on outliner we need to totally explode this component and we can do that in the uh, outliner section of our default tray select our component and click on the plus sign now this tells us that our component is actually made up of two components both of which needs to be exploded so first we select the nested component which is block 2 right click and explode now this one also needs to be exploded right click now let's create a face and to do that we we'll just select an edge and redraw. We don't need this face, and to do that, again, let's delete an edge and again draw a line. Select the face and delete it. Same with this one, select the face and delete. So guys, to speed things up, this is the result after we deleted some unwanted edges and faces. We now have just a single face created from these line geometries. Now let's import that cutout image. Right click on the image and click explode. Press B on the keyboard, sample paint, and select this face. Let's close this default tray and delete the exploded image. Let's go to the camera menu and click parallel projection. 
in the standard views let's click on top right click on the face and select textures and then go to position grab this orange handle and reposition it now this green handle to scale the texture image and then again reposition it so I think this is a good one let's click to finish double click to select all the edges press shift and deselect the face the edit menu click hide I have been saving scenes while doing this video and currently we are in parallel projection let's go to a perspective view and that would be in scene 3 let's unhide Chris so uh, obviously this face needs to be rotated along the blue axis so we're gonna press Q and start rotating it along the blue axis observe that there are unwanted lines we need to delete this and now we are ready to convert this face into a uh, face me component select the face and press G let's rename it to 3 face me and let's check always face camera I'm just gonna uncheck this one shadows face Sun and I want to set my component axis and then let's click create and if we try to navigate by rotating it we can see that our face me component always face uh, the camera now let's check for shadows we're going to create the uh, rectangular face reverse faces now let's show the default tray and go to shadows 